ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for coming to the graduation ceremony for the Buckeye Valley High School class of 2023. Would everyone please stand? And join me for saying the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon. It is my honor to introduce Mr. Samuel Jones, class president for the class of 2023. Good afternoon. Is that enough? More? More enthusiasm? All right. Good afternoon, graduates, families, and faculty members. It is my honor and privilege as class president to welcome all of you to this life-defining moment. Buckeye Valley's class of 2023 graduation. As we gather here today, we cannot ignore the fact that us all making it here today probably surprised a lot of people. At this point in our lives, graduating high school is probably our biggest accomplishment. One that will surely be overshadowed by what is still to come in our futures. But today, let us celebrate all the hard work we've put in. All the late night study sessions, all the grueling days practicing for plays, concerts, and sports, all the days of putting up with typical high school drama, all the days of doing that schoolwork. We still don't know how it's going to help us in the real world, but we have been told it will. Many of us are going to realize that there's a lot more out there than just Buckeye Valley. We cannot live in high school forever. Well, it will be a hard adjustment not seeing our friends every day. We must not dwell on it. There's so many adventures ahead for each of us. This class will be highly successful if we do even half of the good we have done while at BV. Every obstacle that's been thrown at us, we handled with grace, whether it was COVID, membean, college classes, or that one teacher. Our class is extremely resilient, and this trait will carry with us for the rest of our lives. When I was writing the speech and thinking of moments that defined our class, no one specific moment came to mind. It was a journey. We laughed and cried together about a lot of things. We laughed and cheered for our classmates during talent shows, concerts, and games. We cried for the members of our BV family that we lost during our time together. Many classes have cool and catchy mottos that reflect pop culture. We decided that we wanted to go with something timeless. Our class motto is, our lives are before us, our pasts are behind us, and our memories are forever within us. We should not dwell on high school. It was a fun time, and we made many friends and had a lot of good experiences. But now, those are our memories. High school shaped us, but it does not define us. It is a stepping stone onto the past that will lead us to who we will be and the things we will do. Most of our lives are still before us. So I asked the class of 2023 to make a difference somewhere, somehow. It doesn't have to be anything crazy huge like stopping global warming, but work to be a positive part of this world. 
please make a difference to someone. If you need examples of how it's done, take a second and look around this audience, and I'm sure you'll find someone who made a difference to you. There are several faculty members I would like to highlight. Ms. Harrell has been instrumental in our graduation, but there's all those emails she has sent us, all the events she has planned for us. She has been there every step of the way. Mr. Rupp provided us stability all these years by being there for us when we went through three different principals in four years. That wasn't our fault, the other classes ran them off. <laughs> Deputy Strausser has been there for us when we started all those years ago at West, East, and even North. Without him, we probably would have done some more texting and driving. Thank you, Mr. Marshall, for watching over us for all those countless study halls. Thanks to our guidance counselors for helping with scheduling and comforting us when we were panicking. Thank you, cafeteria staff, for providing us the few... Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's keep those phones off. <laughs> Custodial staff, thanks for, making, for cleaning up all of our messes that really shouldn't have been made. And thank you, teachers, coaches, directors, and advisors, for always being there for us and giving us everything you could, whether we deserved it or not. Parents and family, most of all, we have to thank you. In conclusion, I want to extend my sincerest congratulations to the class of 2023. You have worked hard and you have earned this day. Try not to be sad that it's over, but instead be happy that it happened. I'm excited to see what the future holds for each and every one of you. Congratulations and best of luck on your next adventure. Thank you, Sam. Good afternoon and welcome to the 60th commencement exercises for Buckeye Valley High School. I'm Zach Riggs and it is my privilege to serve as principal. I would like to take a moment to recognize the dignitaries that are joining us today. When your name is called, please stand. Mr. Paul Kraft, Superintendent. Mr. Donald Dickey, President of the Board of Education. Dr. Jeremy Froelich, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Andy Miller, Assistant Superintendent. Mr. Travis Rupp, Assistant Principal. Mr. Eric Music, Athletic Director. Mr. Dave Gillum, Principal of the Delaware Area Career Center. And Ms. Maria Valis, Senior Class Advisor. Also joining us seated on the floor, Mr. Tom Alabuni, Vice President of the Board of Education. Mr. Toy Troy Jeffries, Board Member. Ms. April Scouten, Board Member and Ms. Amy Dutt, board member. I would also like to take a moment to recognize our graduation committee and the outstanding faculty and staff seated on the stage today. Thank you. This afternoon, I have the honor to be able to speak directly to and about the class of 2023. This graduation ceremony comes during a time of reflection as I complete my first year as principal at Buckeye Valley. As I sat thinking about what I wanted to share with the class of 2023, I kept coming back to one of the first phrases I heard when I started this position. That phrase was 901 family. If I'm honest, when I began hearing that phrase prior to the start of the school year, I thought it was probably just one of those cliche sayings that those in charge say to make a school feel good. As students arrived, I realized that this phrase was not just a tagline, but was truly lived out by the students, faculty, staff, and community of BV. The class of 2023 proved that the term 901 family rings true. You see, I've seen this phrase lived out through the class of 2023, time and time again this school year. I saw this during the first home football game when our entire student section lined the field as the team ran in. It was reinforced as members of the class of 2023 gave high fives to the band after they came off the field from a great halftime performance. It rang true as our students cheered during each athletic event and gathered together, be it a win or a loss. I saw the 901 family when Mr. Music, Mr. Rupp, and I had the great luck of riding the spirit bus to several away games, listening to students talk and have fun on their way to cheer on the Barons. The 901 family was alive and well each Friday when our vocal music students sang the alma mater over the PA, 
or when Vision Show Choir was bringing home multiple trophies. I witnessed our student section showing up as the 901 family when they cleaned up the student section after each and every home game and away game. And most recently, I saw the 901 family when we all came together to hold the bearing games and our students and staff didn't have to worry about anything other than having fun. Just like the support that the class of 2023 needed from families in the community to make it to graduation, the 901 family was not just those in our school building, but it was parents, alumni, and community. I saw athletic boosters and music boosters working tirelessly to support our students at events like Pancake Day and Cabaret. So I was mightily mistaken when I thought 901 family was just going to be a saying. Class of 2023, I leave you with something simple. Remember what it means to be a part of the 901 family. I've worked other places and I can attest that Buckeye Valley is truly a special place. The faculty, staff, and administration of Buckeye Valley High School are so proud of you and wish you success. Remember, you will always have the privilege of being a member of the 901 family. It is my privilege and honor to welcome Vivian Leatherman, valedictorian, to the podium. Good afternoon, Buckeye Valley parents, families, faculty, and my esteemed classmates, the soon-to-be graduates of the class of 2023. I am honored to be standing here alongside my peers on such a rewarding and joyous occasion to celebrate all of our achievements. It is an honor to have the opportunity to speak to you here today, and I will try my best to keep this short unlike many of Miss V's tests. <laughs> the lessons that you have learned throughout high school will undoubtedly serve you as you embark on the next chapters of your lives. There were many times when I wanted to give up, drop everything I was doing, and retreat to the comfort of my bed. But for as long as I can remember, my dad always told me, you can't just run when things go bad. You have to learn from them. And those words have always stuck with me throughout my years of learning. I have had my fair share of late calculus assignments, skipped chapters of 1984, and begged Mrs. Stump for just one more period on a few class assignments. I even shed several tears in the counseling center due to missing a few exams. So thank you, Mrs. Cress, for always trying to resolve the issue and get them rescheduled. It's important to remember that failure and setbacks are a natural part of life, and it's how we respond to them that defines us. Perseverance and the willingness to learn from mistakes are crucial for success, for our success in all aspects of life. Whether we see it or not in the moment, we are constantly growing. In fact, I never quite expected the level of self-improvement that I have experienced over the past four years. I learned that life only moves on, and I can't spend every waking hour dwelling on what I did wrong, or what I could have done better. What was done was done, and I could only improve myself and how I approached my next task. I was determined to succeed when classwork got heavy, and when life got even heavier. It's also important to remember the value of community and the support of those around you people who provide comfort, honest criticism, and unselfish love. Surrounding yourself with positive, supportive friends and family can make all the difference in achieving your goals and overcoming challenges. Of course, you must recognize the guidance and support provided by your parents and teachers. My support system has been by my side to help and teach me to be independent while finding the best in myself. Finally, I wanna thank each and every one of my fellow classmates. Whether you know it or not, you have had a tremendous impact on my life. I know that we will treasure the memories we have made along the way. As you move forward, keep in mind that life is a journey full of ups and downs. Without the lows, 
you can't experience the highs. No matter where your paths take you, remember that where you go is where you are meant to be. And when things turn upside down, you can't just run from them, but rather learn from them. Thanks, Mom and Dad. It's important to stay true to yourself, embrace new opportunities, and continue learning and growing. Congratulations, class of 2023, once again, and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. It is now my opportunity to introduce Ms. Anna Leonard, valedictorian, to the podium.
My fellow graduates, faculty, and guests who are here to celebrate with us today. This ceremony marks the end of an incredible chapter in our lives. For the past four years, we have all grown tremendously. As I stand in front of you, I can't help but feel a sense of pride and gratitude for what we have all achieved as a class. First and foremost, I want to express my gratitude to all the teachers and faculty members who have worked tirelessly to provide us with a quality education. Your dedication and passion for teaching have inspired us to be the very best version of ourselves. As we move forward to the next phase in our lives, I want to emphasize the importance of doing what you love. For far too long, society has placed a disproportionate emphasis on success and financial gain, leaving many of us feeling lost and unfulfilled. As we succumb to the comfortable choice, but then feel the discomfort of this unfulfillment by satisfying others, rather than the discomfort of defying those expectations in order to live a gratified life. We are often told to pursue careers that are safe, secure, and financially stable, even if they don't align with our passions or interests. But I urge you to ignore the outside noise and do what makes you happy on the inside. Life is too short to spend it doing something that doesn't excite you. Whether it's pursuing a career in the arts, starting your own business, or traveling the world, follow your heart and don't let anyone tell you that your dreams aren't possible. One of the biggest obstacles we face in pursuing our dreams is the fear of what others will think of us. It's easy to get caught up in the opinions and expectations of others, but it's important to remember that we are the only ones that can truly determine our own path. I spent a lot of time believing that happiness as an adult looked like attending an Ivy League school, having the perfect appearance, or going to medical school to have two little letters in front of my name, and then I would have fulfillment in my life. I thought pushing past limits and being the best at something would make me happy. But it wasn't until I took time to step back and evaluate what was really bringing me joy to see that it was actually the relationships with my friends, my teachers, my family, and everyone else in my life, and those were the people that I needed to focus on. Not the 10 seconds of minute validation that came from winning a tennis tournament, not the impressed reactions from distant relatives when I told them I wanted to be a doctor, or even the initial 10 seconds I got from realizing I was the 2023 valedictorian, then which turned into fear of realizing that I had to give the 2023 valedictorian speech. Because instant gratification leads nowhere, and your achievements aren't the only thing that define you as a person. I have been incredibly lucky to have kind people in my life, like a grandma, grandpa, dad, mom, and an amazing sister who provide constant, unconditional love and support to encourage this mindset. So I encourage you, look at how you treat people in your life and if your choices are in harmony with your values. My classmates and peers, I urge you to be fearless in pursuing your dreams. Take that risk that you want to. Try something you've always wanted to do without fear getting in the way. Don't let the opinions of others hold you back. And most importantly, don't let your own self-doubt get in the way. Be true to yourself and work hard to achieve your goals. And if you're like me and zoned out, welcome back. And remember, success isn't about money or prestige. It's about finding joy and fulfillment in what you do, whatever it may be. So congratulations to the class of 2023, and I wish you all the best. It is now my honor to introduce our superintendent, Mr. Paul Kraft, to deliver remarks. Well, thank you and welcome. During every graduation season, season, our seniors get exposed to sages who are tasked with giving advice to help them succeed in the next phase of life. My brief remarks represent one more such attempt. But it's an easy speech because the secret to success in life is that there is no secret. Work hard. Treat people the way they should be treated. Make your bed. Show up on time. Be a lifelong learner. 
floss your teeth every day. It's not complicated. Make consistent efforts to do the right things, those things that your family has asked you to do over the years, and those things that your little voice inside tells you that you should be doing. And you will find success at almost every turn. On the other hand, if you always look for shortcuts, too often just coast, are unreliable, don't show up on time, bad things will come your way often, more often than not. So go out and make your parents, your teachers, but most importantly, yourself, proud of the young man or young woman you are becoming. Accept the fact that the things that will have the greatest impact on what happens to you in life comes down to your attitude and your actions. To quote that great American poet, Miss Taylor Swift, it's me, hi, I'm the problem. The, my wife advised that I not sing that, so. <laughs> Fortunately, the good news is, not only are you the problem, you are also the solution. Your future is in your hands. If you worry that it is in someone else's hands, then I fear for that future. Before I end my remarks, I would be remiss if I didn't thank your families for all the support they have given you and for the partnership with our amazing staff that for many of you has lasted these last 13 years. I also wanted to especially recognize those of you who have committed to joining our U.S. Armed Services. We have several members who have raised their hand and promised to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I ask that those of you that have signed up for service in the military, please stand. Thanks. You are joining a long line of people who have served. I ask very briefly that the veterans in the audience please stand and recognize these newest veterans that are joining our fraternity and sorority. So graduates, you've completed one important step in your life journey. I hope it is not the last time you set out to learn and achieve new things. Now go out and boldly and thoughtfully take those next steps towards success. And when you get there, turn back around and help the next generation to do the same. Good luck, class of 2023, and may God bless the class of 2023. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Alexis Chang, Student Council President, to the podium for the presentation of the class gift. Good afternoon. As we mark this momentous occasion of our graduation, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to all of you for making this journey possible by announcing our class gift. To my fellow students, we have walked this path together. You have made this school an incredible place to learn, grow, and thrive. I am sincerely grateful for the friendships we have formed and the memories we have made. As we embark on the next chapters of our lives, I am confident that we will carry the lessons and experiences from our, from our time here with us. To our teachers who have not only watched us grow, but have also shaped us into the young adults we are today. Your unwavering dedication and commitment to our education has been truly inspiring. You have guided us, challenged us, and nurtured our minds with knowledge and wisdom. And to the custodians, bus drivers, counselors, coaches, and parents who have done all of the behind the scenes work, thank you for endlessly cleaning up our messes for safely taking us to and from school and sporting events, for advising us not only for class schedules, but also for life events. You have supported us when we've needed it the most. As a token of our appreciation, we have a special gift for all of you. I'm delighted to announce a countdown clock that will be hung in the Buckeye Valley halls for all of our big events. 
counting down to the Hayes game, pep assemblies, winter formal, spring break, and definitely graduation. Enriching and instilling school spirit into everyone who walks through our doors. We are all a part of the 901 family. Thank you and go Barons. On behalf of the administration, the Buckeye Valley Board of Education, the faculty and staff of Buckeye Valley High School, I gratefully accept this special gift from the class of 2023. Mr. Dickey, would you please join me at the podium? With the authority vested and responsibility vested in me as the principal of Buckeye Valley High School, I certify the students about to be named have fulfilled all requirements of the Department of Education, the State of Ohio, and the more rigorous requirements of Buckeye Valley Local School District. I present to you for the awarding of diplomas, the Buckeye Valley High School Class of 2023. By the authority vested in me as the president of Buckeye Valley Board of Education in Delaware County, Ohio, I accept these candidates for graduation in the class of 2023. Diplomas signifying completion of all state and local requirements may be presented at this time. Congratulations. I now might invite Mr. Fred Lynn to the podium for the awarding of diplomas. Theodore Michael Akis. Jackson Christopher Allen. Michael James Anderson. Aaron William Anthony. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Ball. <laughs> Jack Tucker Ballard. Colton Riley Barger. <laughs> Macy Grace Barnhart. Lariana Alaric Battle. Devin Franklin Bauer. Tyler Dwayne Bauer. Peyton Marie Bebout. Jocelyn Sophia Blauser. <laughs> Joseph Thomas Brandt. <laughs> Nathan Alexander Brooks. Ethan Paul Browning. <laughs> Ty
Savannah Marie Burwell. Kaylee Renee Kane. Caden Bruce Kala. Rose Marie Cantrell. Garrett Michael Carey. Emma Patricia Cashman. Alexis Grace Ann Cho Chang. Morgan Scott Christie. Sarah Elizabeth Church. Kara Haley Klinger. Lola Bliss Kobe. Samuel Charles Collins. Taylor Curtis Connor. Caitlin Joy Conte. Xavier James Craft. Joseph Robert Cresselius. Libby Eileen Crump. Caden Faith Diaridida. Connor Edward Davis. Decora Alexandra Davis. Georgia Lee Davis. Riley J. DeBow. Jordan Marie DeVoe. Cody Lee Dixon. Miriam Olivia Dial. Austin J. Dilley. Enzo 
Nicolino Duraco. Tanner Joseph Dominich. Ava Alia Eads. Alyssa Joe Ebersol. Dahlia Bellbird Erickson. Madison May Erickson. Chloe Madison Fannin. Logan Scott Fields. Blake Michael Fingerhut. Caden Andrew Fisher. Mason Michael Fisher. Jace William Ford. Braden Kenton Fox. Marcus Rodney Frihas. Calvin Daniel Frost. Anthony Ignacio Gamboa Sedino. Evely Don Garnett. Liam Prescott George. Luke Emery George. Cadence Lee Gibson. Carolina Celine Gonzalez. Tori Evelyn Gump. Caitlin Ann Hall. Lila Grace Hall. Elizabeth Jean Hamilton. Philip Griffin Haney. Claire Jane Hansen. Nicholas Alexander Hardin. Connor Scott Hardman. J. 
Jenna Nicole Harmon. Hunter Todd Hott. Noah Riley Henwood. Gwendolyn Lee Height. Brendan Gerard Hogan. Delilah Gladisa Lucille Honiter. Mackenzie Ashlyn Hughes. Travis Cole Hall. Noah Michael Huss. Audrey Ann Irwin. Samuel Wyatt Jones. Dylan A. Jordan. Hunter Jackson Kaiser. Amir Ali Keshkar Chandri. Tess Marguerite Kiner. Lucas Joseph Kopp. Michaela Grace Krantz. Alex Ross Kraus. Alexandria Marie Landis. Abigail Michelle Langert. Vivian Elise Leatherman. <laughs> Catherine Alexis Lemon. <laughs> Anne Claire Linhart. Madeline Andres Lindsay. Victoria Evelyn Lucas. Catherine Elizabeth Mampi. Danielle Lorraine Mock. Bryn Elizabeth Maynard. T. 
Tanner James Mays. Emma Jane Meyer. Emily Ann Messenger. Travis James Miller. Kylie Elizabeth Mills. Bo Hunter Moore. Lily Grace Neville. Carly Nicole Nybert. Kaya Eileen Overfield. Brendan Michael Olney. Rain Brianne Osborne. Samuel Henrik Otto. Madeline Josephine Pavlika. Caleb David Peppel. Reagan Catherine Perry. Octavian Damian Peters. Brianna Renee Pfeiffer. Ella Grace Powers. Marissa Ashlyn Priddle. Maggie Elizabeth Pyle. Cole Andrew Riley. Austin James Reilly. Braden Anthony Reese. Nathan Anthony Reynolds. Eden Meredith Rhodes. Brady Ryan Ritter. Abigail Elizabeth Robinson. <laughs> J. 
Joshua Matthew Robinson. Evan Thomas Rosario. Sophie Ginger Ross. <laughs> Tiffany Grace Rupp. <laughs> Robert, Robert Travis Russell. Morgan Rain Schuttinger. Logan Scott Sears. Oh, Landon, sorry. Landon Scott Sears. John Paul Salascar. Macy Christine Sheets. Oliver Lee Schroet. Preston Benjamin Scholl. <laughs> Curtis Alden Simmons. <laughs> Marina Lynn Smith. Nor Alhuda Smith. <laughs> Wyatt Xavier Smith. <laughs> Skylar Catalina Snyder. Brendan Robert Stolfe. Yeah. Allison Grace Stankus. David Russell Stewart. Gabrielle Lynn Stockman. <laughs> Ashley Michelle Street. <laughs> Kinley Morgan Stroll. Isabella Philomena Sylvester. <laughs> Ripley Logan Sonati. <laughs> Maya Simone Taylor. Waylon James Thompson. Anna Virginia Travis.
Kevin Jude Vonderwell. Braxton Paul Webb. Jonathan Ridge Webb. Emma Jean Weinberg. Cole Hilton Wesney. Clay Matthew Whittiger. Sadie Foster Whitney. Traden James Williams. Tyson Jamond Willis Durr. Maya Grace Wonderlich. Johanna Maureen York. I now invite Macy Sheets to the podium to accept the diplomas on behalf of the class of 2023. Today, I am honored to accept the diplomas on behalf of the class of 2023. As president of the National Honor Society at Buckeye Valley, I have learned more of the importance of academics, which makes this experience even more of a privilege. This piece of paper reflects the hard work and dedication all of you have put into the past four years. And though we are all going off on our different journeys, we all went through Buckeye Valley together, an experience that we will never forget, the good and the bad. Throughout our years together, we have grown as individuals and as a class. I am proud to have been a part of the class of 2023. In my opinion, we are better than every other class. From our sporting skills, academic prowess, and artistic abilities, we have proven to be a very memorable class. I would like to thank our principals and the guidance counselors who have supported us, the custodians and deputy Strasser who have cleaned up our messes physically and figuratively, and most importantly, the teachers and coaches we saw every day. Our teachers have taught us the academic and the life lessons that have made us who we are. They are the people we've interacted with every day for the past four years. And I know each and every one of us has a teacher here with a special place in their heart, a person that they will never forget. And to our coaches who have shown us what it meant, means to be driven and passionate about something, thank you. To my fellow seniors, I conclude this speech and our high school careers. It is with great honor that I now accept the diplomas for the Buckeye Valley class of 2023.
I invite Maggie Pyle back to the podium to lead us in the singing of our alma mater. <laughs> 